Bonifacio High Street is uh, located at the center of Bonifacio Global City. It was constructed 16 years ago but still gives up the same vibe. Uh, it offers a place where te- businesses, technology, arts and passion to progress. Uh, Bonifacio High Street is uh, located at the center of Bonifacio Global City. It was constructed 16 years ago but still gives up the same vibe uh, with 38,000 uh, square meters of gross floor area. Uh, it offers a place where the businesses, technology, arts and passion to progress. Greatest is uh, plays a major role during pandemic. It is, a, it is an open mall that is well lighted and well ventilated. Uh, Bonifacio High Street is, is included in the Bonifacio High Street complex. We have Bonifacio High Street Central, Bonifacio High Street Central Square, one Bonifacio High Street. We even have Serendra Retail and the Mind Museum at both ends. These properties are all APMC managed, so it is um, natural for them to practice energy efficiency. And even before we get our ISO 5001 energy management system, we are doing these practices now. It's the replacement of traditional fluorescent lights to LED lights, um, taking advantage of our natural environment. We have a lot of uh, alfresco seating or outside seating here. Then we have walkways and arcades. Instead of driving, you will be encouraged to walk or bike around the area. The installation of um, aircon with higher or better EER. And we have our variable frequency drives for our pump and motor system. When we transition to retail electric supplier, talaga, uh, we reduce our generation charge, thus reducing or lowering our electricity billing and lowering our carbon footprint. Uh, it shows that we are supporting and advocating uh, the need to have alternative and renewable energy sources. Bonifacio High Street East is also part of the Interruptible Load Program or ILP. ILP is a voluntary demand-side management program that allows customers to operate their generating sets and collectively reduce electricity drawn from the grid when power interruptions are imminent to ration limited power supply. Actually, um, EEC is part of our sustainability effort. Uh, this effort uh, includes touch-based approach to our staff. We educate them, we discuss this program during our daily coordination meetings and we make them realize that this program can be applied to their individual lives. Religiously complying on predictive, preventive, and corrective maintenance. By doing this maintenance, uh, we reduce the hash we see generated since we prolong the serviceable life of the equipment and we make sure that everything are well used before throwing it out. We also have our regulatory compliance committee or team that monitors our government mandated compliances. We have our sustainability team that links uh, us to our different accredited PSD. And we have a strong-willed corporate that keep us aligned to all of this program to discuss our key 
DOE submission, there are three things there. One would be the integration and utilization of our environment to our design. Two uh, is to tapping of sustainable technology that improve our operational efficiency. And three, education and collaboration of uh, of ECC and sustainability awareness to stop natin. We're aligned with our corporate and FBDC to have a smart building or intelligent building. We'll install uh, AMR, uh, we'll install a lot of feedback system so that we could measure yung utilities natin, put traffic, everything under here, what's happening here. Kasi what we cannot measure, we cannot manage. We are in high street, and when you're using our offices, you're not working eh. Sometimes you play. You play while you work, diba? When you go down here, you dine, you talk with your friends while working. It's not a typical setup of, of a traditional office. It's like um, you're, you're with, one with nature. Ika nga, no? We have trees, landscape, diba? And even the airflow here, it, it feels like you're in, in a very high-end uh, place with a touch of nature. Uh, ako po si Marlon Dison uh, from Bonifacio High Street East Maintenance Supervisor. Dito po sa High Street East, Yung mall po, binubuksan po yung ilaw tuwing pagdilim na po siya hanggang sa uh, pag-close. So, may silang po yung la, uh, time ng light na open. Uh, tapos bukod po sa ano, ibang uh, area po, uh, sinasabihan ko po yung mga tao namin na katulad po sa equipment room, pag ang ilaw ay hindi ginagamit, uh, dapat po isang i-shut off. Aircon po sir, um, ino-open din po siya uh, mall hours. Pag-close po ang CR, katulad po nung dito sa akin, hindi din po namin siya ano, binubuhay. Dito po sa High Street East, kumpara sa ibang mall, uh, bukod sa pwede ka po pong mag-dine-in, mag-shopping, um, yung scenery po rito, parang malapit po siya sa nature, Kasi mapuno po siya at mahangin. Tapos natural light po yung nagpapahilaw sa mall. The awardee for the energy management system for large buildings is no other than Bonifacio High Street. It's a mixed-use establishment located at Bonifacio Global City, Sagi City. It caters to traditional offices and merchandise retail businesses. It grosses a total floor area of 38,862.32 square meters. The awardee is managed by ISO 5001 2018, certified Ayala Property Management Corporation, which implements an energy management system that follows a top down approach that fully commits to energy efficiency practices and policies from operations level, ensuring a unified effort in achieving energy performance improvement. An internal corporate energy research and development team provides support in operations for the implementation and continual improvement of energy efficiency plans. Energy efficiency measures Practices and investments have proved to be beneficial as their performance recorded a reduction of 3.9 million kilowatt hours and a building efficiency index of 94.18 kilowatt hours per square meter per year, which is within the balance of standard industry benchmarks. An equivalent of 1.2 million liters of oil equivalent or 3,294.29 tons of carbon dioxide emissions has been avoided through the span of five years. The awardee for the energy management system for large buildings is no other than Bonifacio High Street. This award validates 
what we have here in High Street uh, is just a two block property, two block property, and yung system niya is compact. So this project, sir, na, na we think na mahirap gawin because of financial reason, technical reason. With this award, uh, sir, we got this. They're easy, they can be easily convinced with this award and with the output that we've got. Uh, this, out, this award kasi, ano eh, it entails yung savings, yung hindi natin napabayaan yung property, keep it maintained, we keep it off, we keep, we keep it optimum, diba? So, yun, uh, this award validates everything that we've got here. In behalf of APMC and the Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation, we would like to sincerely thank the Department of Energy for recognizing the Bonifacio High Street Retail for its energy management practices and programs. We will continue to be your partners in this global initiative and we are committed to support your objectives on energy efficiency through our continuous improvement and on the energy performance of all our managed properties. Again, thank you. Energy efficiency and conservation, AEC, has become essential to all of us with the enactment of Republic Act No. 11285 or the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Act. We are encouraged to follow a wise and economical way of using energy resources. AEC envisions our customers to be equipped with proper, fact-based, and scientifically grounded practices and measures on their daily life. The Department of Energy is at the forefront of advancing energy efficiency and conservation and making sure that information is accessible to every Filipino. One of the agency's ways of encouraging our stakeholders to be part of this initiative is through our Energy Efficiency Excellence or EEE Awards, which recognizes outstanding entities, projects, and initiatives that create a difference and impact in their respective fields. EEE Awards promotes energy management systems and best practices on energy efficiency across the commercial, industrial, transport, and government sectors and acknowledges demonstrated best practices in the industry. Part of the EEE Awards is the conduct of validation activities where we visit our winners and see to it that the evaluated submissions are being translated and implemented on their facilities. Despite the challenges that we are facing right now, our partners ensure that energy efficiency and conservation will always be a part of their operation. This manifests that energy efficiency and conservation will surely become the way of life of every Filipino.